Yo, what's up, Code Thugs? It's your boy, Ken Wheeler, and this is the start of a brand new series that I'm doing called Canvas in Five Minutes. I'm going to watch the clock. It's on. Uh, this is a series where I'm going to do five-minute tutorials showing you how to use uh, HTML, JavaScript, Canvas in the browser, um, and you can do some pretty cool shit. Uh, anything from visualizations um, to games to whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to show a, a lot of different applications of it, some tips and tricks for doing it with performance. Um, and that's that. I'd like to apologize in advance for this mechanical keyboard. It's going to annoy the shit out of you. I'm going to see how I can fix that, but fuck it. As always, slap that fucking subscribe button. Now. I'll wait. Okay, let's party. So the lesson today that I'm going to start with is the absolute introduction to Canvas. Uh, this is going to be the basics, and I got four minutes, so let's get this show on the road. Um, here we're looking at a code sandbox, uh, which is where I'm going to do a lot of these. I'm going to post them in the description. Um, you usually start by creating a Canvas HTML element. I'm going to call it My Canvas. Again, sorry for the fucking mechanical keyboard noises. All right. So we're going to give it a width and a height, uh, let's say 400 uh, by 400. And then we can hit save and head back to index.js. We're done in HTML, so I can peel this over. Maybe I can peel it over. What the fuck, Eves? I'm going to have to have a talk with this boy. Um, regardless, okay. So in here, right, I could say const uh, my canvas. And you're going to say document get element by ID my canvas, right? And this gives us the canvas. It's probably complaining because it's not used yet. Um, now that you have the canvas, uh, it doesn't really do shit for you. Uh, you could do things to the canvas element like any other HTML element. But if you want to start drawing, uh, you need to use a canvas context, right? So we're going to say const ctx, which is a pretty common pattern that I see, uh, is equal to my canvas dot get context to D. Right, so now we have our CTX. Um, you can't see the canvas yet at all, uh, but you will soon. So, the first thing that we're going to do is draw a rectangle, right? And if we want it to be a color, we have to set our fill style. So, we say CTX dot fill style equals red, make it nice and visible. Um, now, to draw a rectangle, we're going to say CTX fill rect. Right? And it's going to be x, y, width, and height. So I'm going to say 0, 0, 400, 400. And what this gives us is a big ass red square, which is cool. You know, that's fine. Um, so uh, that is basically how to draw a rectangle. Um, if we wanted to do something else, right, we could play with these, right? That covers the entire canvas. Um, we could offset it, move it over. Right again, x, y, width, and height. It's it's important to note that when you're when you're doing this, um, it's like absolute positioning, right? It's not relative like DOM elements. Uh, so everything is like absolutely positioned, um, and we'll get more into that in a different one. Um, let's say we want to draw some text, right? Um, one of the first things we could do here is say uh, ctx.font. It's kind of a funny setup, right? You do like your point, your your style, and then your your font, right? So I could say like. Uh, Let's say 24px, um, what's it, you know, Tahoma or some shit like that. And then um, I could say fill text, right? And what we're going to do is our, our X, our Y, and then our thing. I think that's the order. My text, right? Um, maybe not. Oh, you know what? It's red, so maybe it's just drawing on top of it. Uh, fill style equals black or maybe I have my arguments fucked up wow look at that I'm a silly goose uh, yeah so it's your text first and then it's your X and your Y um, now it's funny because uh, we started our square at 50-50 and we started our text at 50-50. And that's not usually how it works. See how the text is like written above? Um, a lot of the time when I'm trying to position things, I like to do it by the top. So we can do a thing called text baseline. 
and then we can say top right and then that'll go where you think it should uh you know let's say we wanted to do uh 10 pixel padding on this bad boy right come in set it up like that um yeah so that's a basic square that's some basic text um i think my five minutes are up so our next canvas lesson we'll get into a, a couple headier things this is just the introductory lesson if you want to try it this is in the the, the code sandbox is in the description as always slap that fucking subscribe button holler at your boy